YouTube. In this video, I'm going to review Smart Droid Simple KK ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9 2.0. So you go to the settings menu, more, and then about device. You can find I'm running on a Smart Droid KK version 1, which is developed by Skywalker and Smart Droid team, which is based on Android 4.4.2. This is the latest version of uh, Samsung based 4.3 ROM and the main intention to create this ROM is the performance, stability, less bugs and a light versions. So if you go to the, first of all let's check the RAM usage of this ROM. So go to RAM usage, clear the memory. So you can find the RAM usage is around for 9 dmb only which is very less compared to other Samsung related ROM which means it is actually less than the stock ROM itself. So there is no, first of all there is no visual changes, everything looks stock only but the ROM is actually tweaked to for the better performance, actually better than the stock ROM. And then if you talk about the features and all. Uh, RAM is optimized, laundry is fast and then uh, zip aligned, ad blocking is there. If you look at the normal phone settings like dial randall, everything looks almost, um, it's the same only. There's not much change to these basic phone features and even if you look at the messaging option you can find there there is not much new settings and all. but. Uh, the developer include the unlimited SMS and then unlimited S MMS configuration as well as they disabled the SMS to MMS conversion and all. So it is good. And then if you look at the notification area, you can find all these notification things like a multimedia window with the unlimited multimedia multi window apps. And then there is quad view also, so you can run for applications at the same time. So that is quad view. Besides that, uh, other options like smart stays there and then um, Wi-Fi hotspots, screen mirroring and uh, power saving options are there. These are the stock versions. So, And uh, if you look at the, take the camera, you can actually use the camera during the calls. So it's a moderate camera and as well as can change the volume button to control the camera key as well and then you can also turn off the shutter sound from here and besides that many tweaks are inbuilt to with this ROM like uh, battery tweaks are there and then VM tweaks, net speed tweaks and then net scale tweaks. Let's look at the wallpaper and all this is and all very light version and the from the stock itself there's not much to show here for the settings menu you can find all these normal settings options and then lock screen you can find uh, s5 lock screen options like uh, light effect and then particle effect and all so these options are from s5 which looks good Besides that, there is call options and call, uh, other call options features are here and then a torch light is there so we can, if you turn on this torch light, I, I can uh, use the torch light from the lock screen itself. So using volume I can turn on and then volume down I can turn off the torch light which is very handy. So is that power saving option, ultra power saving option and toolbox is there, I don't know whether it's work, okay it's working fine. No, it's not working. We'll check the next version. And all. So this is the one handed operation. And if you look at the language options, if you check the language, you can I can show you all the language separate language here. Okay, that's it. That smart screen option is there, motion option, and then account, and then auto start option. So I can control the application which will going to start from, I mean, start at the 
startup so i can actually control which and all services or application i should disable for the automatic startup from and which will uh, improve the startup time which is good and then application permissions are there so i can control each and every application thing settings from there and then store each power option so auto power off is there i can keep the time and then it will automatically power off that and fast power on so these are the settings and features about this rom this is pre rooted rom so you can find a super su here and this rom also can includes the options to flash bloatware if you want i didn't flash any bloatware if you want you can flash that bloatware so if you want to know how to install this rom there is a link in the description to show you that just go and check it out that's it thanks for watching please subscribe for more